we pointed out earlier that the amino nitrogen, the nitrogen atom of an amine, and in particular this lone pair, is a pretty good base. And really this is an extremely important base in organic chemistry and especially in biochemistry since the amino nitrogen in amino acids plays an important role in biochemical contexts. If we look at the proton transfer reaction between water and an ammonium ion, the conjugate acid of a neutral amine, we find that the pKa of the ammonium ion is about 10, and this is relatively high. This positively charged group is much less acidic than, for example, a carboxylic acid, which has a pKa around 5. In fact, this pKa is more on par with the acidity of phenol, pH OH, which just goes to show you how stable this positively charged ammonium ion is. Recall from your study of acid-base chemistry previously that the difference between the pH of the medium in which, say, an amine finds itself and the pKa of the ammonium is related to the ratio of base to conjugate acid in that medium. And so 10 to the power of the pH minus the pKa of HB plus is equal to this ratio of base to conjugate acid. Mathematically, what this means is that for any medium, any solution really, below pH 10, the alkylamine will be mostly protonated. It will be mostly the HB plus form. That falls out of the math if we plug in, let's just say, 10 for the hypothetical pKa of HB plus. Any pH value less than 10 is going to make this exponent negative and make this side of the equation less than 1, meaning HB plus concentration is greater than B concentration. So the conjugate acid, the ammonium, dominates over the free neutral amine. The most important practical implication of this is pH 7, which is, in fact, below 10, right? This means that amines in a medium that's pH 7, such as essentially all biochemical systems, will be positively charged and will be protonated. It takes at least a local environment where either the pKa is dragged down or the pH of the medium is well above 10 to deprotonate this amine. And we'll actually talk about how biochemical systems achieve this, especially inside enzyme active sites, when we get to pKa modulation in a future lesson. But for the time being, it's worth keeping in mind that at pH 7, amines are mostly protonated. They're mostly present in their ammonium forms in solution. Let's do what we've done for the alcohol and the alkoxide and look at some molecules for which an amine is a stronger base and an amine is a weaker base. And we'll take the same approach that we did in those videos previously, where we noted that any weaker bases than NR3 will have conjugate acids whose pKa's are less than the pKa of the conjugate acid of NR3, or HNR3+. And so any base B will have a conjugate acid pKa, let's just call it HB+, that is less than 10. And this includes a number of rather non-intuitive negatively charged groups, the most important of which is the carboxylate, the conjugate base of a carboxylic acid. Amines can even be stronger than some stabilized carbon bases, like enolates that are flanked by two or more carbonyl groups. The negative charge in this structure is highly delocalized, and that makes this structure even more stable in a sense than the neutral amine. Neutral amine is a stronger base than this structure here. And of course, also in this box, we have the usual suspects, the conjugate bases of strong acids, things like Cl minus, HSO4 minus, SO4 2 minus, the other halide anions like I minus and Br minus. These are all the conjugate bases of strong acids, and so they're very, very stable and very, very weak bases. At the end of the day, NR3 is still neutral, right? And so it's a weaker base than many anionic bases. Naturally, it's going to be a weaker base, for example, than NR2 minus and a mid base, but it's also weaker than anionic alkoxides, OR minus, and any sort of unstabilized carbon base, CR3 minus. Everything we've talked about so far has applied exclusively to alkyl amines with one, two, or three alkyl groups connected to the amino or ammonium nitrogen. When we connect an aryl group, such as a phenyl ring, to the amino nitrogen, the situation changes dramatically. Notice that the pKa associated with proton transfer from an aryl ammonium to water is much, much lower 
than the typical pKa of an alkylamine, which was up near 10. This means that this aryl ammonium, or anilinium, as it's called, is the conjugate acid of aniline, which appears on the right-hand side, is much more acidic than an alkylamine. Why is this? Well, if we look at the ammonium, it really doesn't look like anything special, considering that we don't really have any lone pairs to play with resonance structures or anything like this. And so to understand this, we're going to focus our attention actually on the conjugate base, on the neutral amine itself, and in particular on the lone pair on nitrogen and what it's doing. What's unique about aryl amines, and the same is true of amines in which the nitrogen is linked to, for example, an alkene, which are called enamines. We'll look at those later in the course. The thing here is that the amino nitrogen's lone pair, which is a good electron donor, is adjacent to a carbon-carbon pi bond, really a six-atom cyclic pi system consisting of all three of the carbon-carbon pi bonds. From the perspective of the elements of resonance, we have a good electron source in the form of a lone pair on the nitrogen atom adjacent to functionality that can serve as an electron sink or a place we can land electrons. This means that resonance is possible, right? And we can draw a resonance structure of the neutral aniline in which the lone pair electrons are delocalized into the aromatic pi system. So it's not really a lone pair at all, right? It's really delocalized into the aromatic pi system. And in that sense, it's got some bonding character to it, and it's much less likely then to be donated to some external electron sink, such as a Bronsted acid. This makes the pKa of the conjugate acid much lower, and the conjugate acid much more acidic than the conjugate acid of an alkylamine. Another way of saying this is that this nitrogen within the aryl amine is much less basic than an alkylamine. And so really, to put this right, we should say that the anilinium is much more acidic than an alkyl ammonium, and the amino nitrogen is less basic than an alkyl amine, the neutral conjugate base.